Happy St. Patrick's Day! I thought I would uh, do a little demonstration for you today for in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Not that there's anything green that I'm doing uh, <laughs> with my cooking, but this is uh, cooking uh, healthy with Charlotte. I want you to see my, my uh, daffodils. Aren't those gorgeous? I had to bring them in. It's going to get cold tonight. But uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to do. You know, I've used um, a spaghetti squash over and over again. Well, I'm going to show you how the spaghetti squash looks uh, when you cook it and when you pull the uh, insides out to make it look like spaghetti. So here you go. I'm going to turn this around. Okay, so this is what the spaghetti squash looks like. I had, uh, it's kind of got a hard shell to it, you know, and I cut it in half, and then I cut the other in half too. I had it kind of standing up like this, and like this, and this part was down like that. So that's the way I cooked it. I had a glass lid that I put over the top of it, and you fill it with water to about right there, and then you let it cook until I, I think I did this is kind of a big one so this one took me about I think I did 30 minutes I did 15 minutes and then I did another 30 minutes but what I'm going to show you now here I've got my uh, my meat over here simmering it's my uh, turkey lean turkey with my rustic tomato um, uh, sauce for um, organic sauce uh, and then I put uh, a tablespoon of the Mino uh, all-purpose all seasoning instead of soy sauce. And I also used some of the uh, Lowry's seasoning salt on there. And um, I was going to show you, <laughs> I did something kind of screwy. Um, let me turn this back around. Uh -huh. I always take the seeds out of the... Um, spaghetti squash because I like to uh, cook them and put a little seasoning on them and have them as a kind of a little snack or whatever to have around. And I burnt them. I cooked them too long. Oh my gosh. Now this is some that I have left over from when I did it the last time. But the, it's just, uh, you. I don't know what I was thinking, but they were... <laughs> I put it in, I think, for like 15 minutes or something like that. I'm thinking, well, what did I smell this burning out there, you know? <laughs> I had let them on there too long. I, so you probably want to do maybe five minutes at a time and kind of check it and make sure that they're not getting too burnt. <laughs> getting burnt, I don't know. I mean, it took me forever to get the burnt smell out of the house, and I think it's still in the house, you know. It's a good thing you can't smell what's going on here. So anyway, back to the show here. I wanted to show you how to uh, take this spaghetti squash out of the shell, and then we're going to put it in the, the pot, and I'll show you how that works. So it's pretty easy, uh, but I, if you haven't ever done it before, it might be a little uh, unnerving. But you see how the uh, the spaghetti squash does? It comes against out from away from the edge real easy, and you just pull your with your fork. You do that, and then I, I actually will take my spoon and pull it out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this and hold my camera at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but anyway, we'll try it here, I'm, and I'm just going to put it into this bowl here. So let's see here if I can show you what to do here. I have yet to figure out how to set my camera up to where I can um, show you what I'm doing at the same time. But you see how that comes out? This, that's why it looks like spaghetti. How about that? See, isn't that cool? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some more here. And when you get the, um, the the most of this out of the middle, what's going to happen is around the edges, it's kind of a, a little bit mushy. But you can go ahead and scrape that out and uh, put that in there with the rest of it as well, too. And it's really very delicious. And it's a lot more healthy than uh, pasta because pasta has so many... Um, carbs in it and um, it makes it more fattening 
All right, so I'm not, see how that, I don't know if you can see how that is down there. See how it's kind of uh, next to the edge. It's, it's kind of mushy. Uh, it's kind of one-handed here. But anyway, you see how that's just a little bit more mushy. But it really is a lot. I mean, um, now see, that's just half of it right here. That fills that bowl full. And then I've got these other two halves over here ready. Um, I, I'll, I'll go back and scrape more of that out later. I was just going to show you here what you can do. Let's see if I can do it one-handed here. Let's see if I can go through there and pull that out like that. And doing it with a fork is probably easier, but anyway, so there you go. There, that's how easy it is. And if you have two hands, it's much easier. <laughs> so here, let me uh, just kind of show you here what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this off, okay? And uh, you see my little sign there? With God, all things are possible, and that is so true. Uh, even cooking with one hand. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this and I'm going to dump this in um, and I'm going to stir this around. Uh, I put actually this is like a, a pound and a quarter of, um, of a very lean turkey and uh, I've already cooked it and I put in actually two cups of the rustic tomato sauce and I put one tablespoon of the um, uh, liquid aminos um, and I'll probably let this simmer just a little bit more after, with it because it's been uh, sitting out it's the, the, the squish gets very hot so you have to um, be careful uh, when you're pulling it out that it's not you don't get burned so anyway there you go um we're gonna turn the fire up just a little bit here and put the lid on and let that cook for a little while and there you go so um if you want to cook spaghetti squash it's very easy uh the hardest thing i think is cutting it in half whenever you uh, get started cutting it in half is kind of a a little bit of a challenge because it's kind of a hard uh, a hard shell so you want to be sure and use a very very sharp knife so um so this is my um saint patrick's day little gift to you as far as a <laughs> cooking tip uh for keeping it healthy Main thing is, with all this uh, coronavirus scare and whatever, um, just keep a, a happy thought, a happy mind, and uh, focus on the Lord. And he's, uh, he is, with Jesus, we don't have to have any luck. You know, we, we have the blood of Jesus to cover us and protect us in all things. But it's always kind of fun to uh, look at these things that are going on and um, look to see how... Um, we can look at it with a with a more positive view so uh, hopefully you'll be able to maybe um spend a little extra time with your family while you're doing your um quarantines these next <laughs> few weeks i guess it is i guess it's like another two weeks or we're supposed to uh keep from going out and being out with all the public and everything so uh, be positive and send me pictures. Send me uh, notes of how you have fixed some spaghetti squash. If you have some ideas and tips, be sure and put it down below and share it. All right. Thank you and enjoy your spring flowers. Oh my gosh. These are just so pretty. I, you know, I've just got to show these to you one more time as I say goodbye. All right. God bless you. There they are. Aren't they just gorgeous? They're humongous. All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day.